Hey guys, it's me, the one whose video camera randomly decides not to record audio sometimes. Yeah, that's what happened when I painted my grout the other day, so I'm just gonna kinda walk you through it. That's what the grout used to look like when we installed it, and over time it became dirty looking like this. I wrote a whole blog post on why I will never do light colored grout again, but that's gonna be linked below if you wanna check it out. So this is what it looks like when I painted it about six months ago. And I do actually really like how it held up. I just did this back corner to test the area and the grout paint held up really well and looks a lot better than the dirty grout, as you can tell. Of course, it's also much lower maintenance. We actually did paint our guest bathroom grout white and since it gets much less use, we don't really have to clean it. It stays pretty clean, but since the kitchen is the dirtiest place with the dogs running in and out, I decided to go with a darker grout this time. So if you guys know me, you know I'm all about designing for as little maintenance as possible. I don't really believe in getting on my hands and knees and scrubbing grout once a week. So I will do it this once because I want the paint to be able to adhere really well. I used this cleaner called Barkeeper's Friend. In the past, I've used scrubbing bubbles and it didn't really work that well. So I tried the Barkeeper's Friend this time and holy smokes, it really, really worked well as you're about to see. I will say that it left kind of a powdery residue in some places, which I'm not really sure is conducive to the painting. So I'll let you guys know if for some reason this paint doesn't stick as well as the one that I did about six months ago, but I have a pretty good feeling it'll be fine. And now I'm just sweaty and talking about why I will never be doing that every week. Okay, so this is what it looks like after it was cleaned. and this is what it looks like when it's painted. This tile in particular was a little more challenging to paint because of these wood-like etches in the tile. This is the worst spot in the kitchen where the paint kind of got caught in it. So I was trying to be a little bit careful about not letting the paint dry in those little textured areas on the tile itself. And now it's just time to get started. Since I pretty much never wear makeup, I decided to just go ahead and use an old makeup brush. Rest in peace. In the past, I've also used a toothbrush to scrub it in, but I don't really see any difference in the longevity. With that test spot I did about six months ago, I just used a brush like this and it worked just fine without scrubbing it in like a toothbrush. If you guys wanna know what kind of paint we use, I'm gonna link that in the blog post for you guys, so you can just click that. It'll take you to our website with all the information. Once I painted an area, I took a damp paper towel and I wiped it away. So actually using the paper towel was incredibly inefficient. I'm gonna show you guys a much better way. So this whole area took me about an hour just to do this one area. So the paper towel was very, very inefficient. Fortunately, I knew from the last grout painting project that I could just use a rag instead and you're about to see how much better that works. So the damp rag actually wipes it away so, so much better. If the rag is too wet, you're gonna get water inside the grout lines and then the paint isn't gonna dry very well and you're gonna have to do more coats than maybe you would have before. So it's really kind of this balance between not too dry and not too wet. And I also didn't apply too much pressure so I'm not wiping away the paint within the grout lines. There's really this sweet spot after you paint it where you let it dry a certain amount of time. If you wipe it all away right away, it's not gonna stick in the grout lines. And if you let it sit too long, you're gonna have to kind of scrape it to get the paint up. So I found that right around four to six minutes was sort of the sweet spot for me, but I'm sure it's gonna depend on the humidity, the temperature, there's a lot of factors that'll go into it. The paint actually did not leave any kind of haze on the tile. Like when you put grout in for the first time, it kind of leaves a grout haze that is a pain to get off, but this was much, much easier. 
So this is what it looks like after about 24 hours of drying. I did do that test spot about six months ago and it has held up just fine so far. And that white grout painting project that we did actually three years ago has held up just fine as well. This is the process we use, but we do recommend you use manufacturer instructions, of course. If you guys have any questions, feel free to leave a comment below. And if you haven't already subscribed to our channel, we would love if you would join us for more projects in the future. If you guys wanna see that white grout painting project, you can either check out our Instagram. It's gonna be in our story highlights. Our Instagram handle is oak underscore abode. And I'm gonna leave all that info in the blog post on our website linked below.